Hello, hello, Crossroads Witches and other interesting magical beings. Ooh, I've got notes, so you know it's going to be a good video. Today we're going to talk about some misconceptions, common things people think about witches, witchcraft. Uh, this is actually compiled by The Coven. Uh, we were sitting and chatting and sort of laughing about it and realized people believe this. So I thought I would put out a little video information that, no, it's not true. I am an initiated high priestess with an American witchcraft tradition. I've been in community now for over 40 years. So I feel fairly qualified to say, this list of stuff ain't true. And with that said, let's start with number one. That there is an ancient, all-powerful spell book, grimoire, book of magic. No, there's not. One of us would have found it by now. That's all I'm saying. If it was out there, we'd know, and nobody in community can keep a secret, so we would all know about it. Second one. Witches go skyclad. The Nikki tribe people. Yes, we do have a very small percentage of our nature loving magic folk. Small percentage of them. We also, within initiated witchcraft traditions, if the Garnerians, some of the offshoots of those, uh, do practice skyclad in ritual. This is consensual. This is adult. This is like 2% of the population. The other 98% of us keep our clothes on. Um, this is funny because the outfit I'm wearing today is all witches wear black. No, even I don't wear all black. Uh, I like black because it brings energy into me. I like that space, all right? Um, I also think it was fashionable. And as somebody who was goth before goth, I wore black before it was um, trendy. And I remember in high school, they used to ask me if I was going to a funeral. Um, the other one, there are no male witches. Only women can be witches. No. Not true. In fact, if we get back into our folk magic, our cunning folk, and even into our initiated traditions, we find we're probably running about 50-50 in reality. Uh, I think that the women are the ones that like to talk more, so you hear about them. But we have lots of male witches, lots of male practitioners. We have non-binary. We have uh, queer. We have them all. All right, uh, there's no, this is not a girlfriend only uh, thing. Um, oh, the other one. There is no secret High Council of Witches. The High Council of Witches is in Hollywood. Um, there's no way our community could have a High Council. We would either be highly amused by them or highly pissed by them. We believe in individual rights, individual spaces, individual choices, autonomy. Um, we are not followers. We are not sheep. The majority, when you get into a lot of us, um, we're sort of the wolves of magic. All right. All witches are part of a coven. No, they're not. Uh, statistically, 80% of witches are solitaire. Only 20% are actually part of a coven. I don't think a lot of people realize this. In witchcraft community, 80% of us are solitaire. All right? The majority of us. Very few, 20%, and I think that's a very gracious number, are actually members of organization, houses, covens, traditions, uh, things like that. Historically, we were solitaire, so it goes with it. It makes sense. All right. Um, of course, another one of my favorites that I have shot a video about is All Witches 
read tarot. Y'all, all witches do not read tarot. All right. In fact, again, this is another small majority or small percentage of us, a small amount of us, do read tarot as a form of divination. I know it seems sometimes on social media platforms it's tarot, tarot, tarot. All right. No, most of us are not that those those witches. It's a few of us who do like to put a lot of videos out. Is what I think. All right. And another great one that, again, I'm just like, are you kidding, is all witches make a pact with Satan or the devil. No, we don't. No, we don't do that with anybody. We don't make pacts. Um, we make agreements, contracts, and friends. <laughs> I guess a pact is a contract. But, um, no. Uh, again, Hollywood... Hollywood, Hollywood. Uh, you will find that uh, witches typically fall into two groups. They fall into the pagan group where it is more about the old god and goddesses, the older aspects of divinity, quite a few of them. Uh, the divine feminine is very much part of it. And then uh, we have a, a very healthy population of Christian, Buddhist, other, and witches, all right, uh, you know, that fall into it. We don't, not all witches are pagans, not all pagans are witches, all right, so just being aware of that as well. Uh, the other one is witches have familiars. Um, this is sort of some urban myth mixed with Hollywood, bringing in some old folk tales from the Inquisition in the British Isles. Uh, some witches do have familiars, other witches have nothing to do with it. It just doesn't resonate with them. I would say that again, this is something that is a small part of our population that has familiars, works with those type of spirits. Um, and of course, I'm going to end this with the bonus one, which is witches use the fat of a baby in spell work. <laughs> it is actually a 16th century uh, flying ointment that was recorded during the time of the Inquisition by a woman that was undergoing torture. So if you're undergoing torture, you're going to say anything, and it's a sad situation. At no point historically or in any other way with any evidence have we ever done anything like that. Um, most, if not all witches, I would like to believe personally this is that it's about having that strong moral compass, having that strong ethical code that we hold our own selves accountable. And the idea of harming a child, a, a, a fur baby, of anything, a plant, anything, a, we're going to work really hard not to have that happen. All right. We are protectors of this uh, earth, this, this moment in time that we're a part of. And so we would never strive to hurt something that is, you know, just being there um, type thing. And so here is my nine misconceptions about witchcraft told to you by a witch that no, we don't do that. And if you know a misconception, put it in the comment below. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like, the subscribe. I so appreciate all of my folks and which have shown support for me for the House of Witchcraft. And of course now, don't forget, uh, I will be at Mystic South in Atlanta, Georgia, July 14th through the 16th. House of Witchcraft is holding a hospitality suite, so you can come uh, enjoy. We're having a, a wonderful party Saturday night that we're all excited about, and we would love to have you there. So with that said, get out there, fly those brooms, have a bright, blessed day, and as always, Amen, bless be, ashe, and a bubble.